Let's look at question number one from 2017 AP Calculus AB or BC free response. A tank has a height of 10 feet. The area of a horizontal cross section of a tank at height h is given by the function h. So think about it like this. Let's say the tank is shaped like a cone. Of course, it doesn't have to be, but for the discussion's sake, let's say it is. And let's call this height 0, and you're going all the way up to height of 10. And you're measuring the area of it at some height. So let's say, and let's call this height at 2, and you measure the area to be 14.4. And you can keep on measuring uh, as you're going up. So, what, so let's keep on reading the question. Uh, a of h is measured in square feet. The unit is very important for you to get the full amount of credit that you can. So make sure you know what the unit is. The function a is continuous and decreases. That seems important as h is increasing. So if we look at a, the area is decreasing. So let's call this h and let's call this a of h as h is increasing. So that's like the case for this cone. As you're going up, the area of a cross section is getting smaller and smaller. So that's what's happening. Let's keep on reading. Uh, selected values of a of h are given in the table above. Intriguing. A. Use a left Riemann sum. Left Riemann sum, not midpoint, not right. We want to use left with the three sub-intervals indicated by the data in the table to approximate the volume of the tank. So how can we how can we approximate the volume? If you think about this, if you let's let's go back to the this cone, and as you can see, that the area of this disk is a of h. So let's the area of this disk is a of h, and let's call let's consider a very small differential height, very small change in height, and let's call this change in height dh. What's the volume of this disk? Well, the volume of the disk is going to be the area times height. So A of H times DH. And we want to add up the volume from 0 to H. So we want to sum up the volume, sum of DV, which is given below, from uh, 0 to uh, 10 to find volume, don't we? Yes, we do. But we want dh to be as small as possible for it to be an exact approximation. And what's, what's the device, what's the calculus device that allows us to do that? Well, that's definite, definite integral. So we can take the definite integral from 0 to h of a of h dh to find the volume of the entire tank because definite integral is the sum as the width as the width is approaching zero, which is exactly what we wish to do. So the volume is going to be the area under this curve from zero to 10. But as we can see, they have not given us the area of the curve yet for part A. They want us to use an approximation. What they have given us, let's say A of H is going down. At zero, they told us the height is 50.3. At two, they told us the height, they told us the height is 14.4. At 5, they told us the height is 6.5. And at 10, they told us the height is 2.9. So if we want to find the area of this curve, if we want to approximate the area of this curve using the left Riemann sum, you're going to use the left, left point, left point of each of these interval. So you got these three rectangles as shown below. So you want to find the areas of these three rectangles and add them up as an approximation. So what is it? The area of the first rectangle is going to be the width, which is zero, which is 2 minus 0, or 2, times the height, which is 50.3, plus the width. Of, now let's go on to the second rectangle. The width is 5 minus 2, or 3, times the height, which is 14.4. And for the last rectangle, you got 10 minus 5 times 6.5. And that should get you the exact value of 176.3 cubic feet. Make sure you have your unit. Uh, B, those are the approximation in part A, overestimate or underestimate the volume of the tank. 
obviously the area of the rectangle is greater than the sum of the areas of the rectangle is, is greater than the actual area under the curve so it's gonna be an overestimate and the reason is what is making this overestimate let's say they already told us what the function is decreasing as h is increasing let's consider a case where the function is increasing then if we use the left Riemann sum you are going to have under approximation as shown below because the area of the curve is greater than the sum of the areas of the rectangle so in this case the reason is overestimate is because the function is decreasing a of h is decreasing and we are using the left Riemann sum so it's gonna be overestimate because the function is decreasing and left Riemann sum is used now let's look at part c the area of a cross section at height h is this so that's that's a of h or f of h based on the model find the volume of the tank hey we already know how to find the volume of the tank we all we have to do is go from zero to we know the height of the tank is 10 feet so let's go up to 10 of our f of h which is 50.3 over e to e 0 0.28 plus h dh and plugging that into your calculator should get you 101.325 cubic feet make sure you round to the thousands uh, last one water is pumped into the tank when the height is 5 feet the height is increasing at the rate of 0 0.26 foot per minute so per minute not per second not per hour let's mark that and we know the height is 5 and the rate at which the height is changing with respect to time is 0 0.26 Using the model from part C, find the rate at which the volume of the water is changing So you, with respect to time. So we wish to find dvdt when the height is 5 feet, indicate unit to measure. Well, we know, v of, we know v of h, not v of t, make sure you do not mess this up. We know v of h is integral from 0 to h of, of what? a of h dh, we have already derived it up below, uh, up above not up below that's that's an oxymoron so we want to find v dv dt but this thing is in function of h so how can we somehow change this to dv dh times maybe something that we can figure out using the chain rule dv dt is same thing as dv dh times dh dt you can intuitively think of dh as being cancelled being cancelling out although that's not really what's happening if that helps you remember this and you know dvdh using the second fundamental theorem of calculus derivative uh, with function of h with integ of integral from 0 to h of a of h dh let's call this final height just to not get confused with any variable height that's gonna be the same as a the area at the final height by that's the that's the, what second fundamental theorem of calculus is so that's the same thing as area at the final height times dhdt and what's so beautiful about this we know dhdt we know the function a of x a of h and we know the height the final height we're going to is 5 so this thing is same thing as what 50.3 times 2 to 0 0.2 times 5 plus 5 for the air a of 5 and dhdt they gave us is 0 0.26 plugging this in you should you should obtain you should obtain round to the thousands 1.694 694 cubic feet per and what was it minute 